Iravi Panicum Yampe Rukira Lindenam Pesurgum Pia by Paramal Burgan. Back from the dead, controversial Tamil writer Burgan has brought us Pia. First published in Tamil in 2013, it has now been subsequently translated into English by Annie Rudin Vesu Zidan. Now, Burgan had to declare himself dead because his novel One Part woman caused such an uproar with the right of India. Before we talk about this book, I would like to say that if you're interested within caste and its implications, I would also recommend Samskara by U.R. Anthamurthy, a Kannada translated book, which I have reviewed and I will link it down below. I would say Anthamurthy's book is the strongest book in comparison to this. Murugan advised that he was never going to write again, but the writer in him needed to do something, so he wrote Pire, which is a discussion about inter-caste marriage, where two people from different castes marry. This is seen by some as a taboo and still today causes caste-based violence and honour killing. Pire oversees the violence that is inflicted towards the newlyweds Kumaresan and Saroja. Love should be something that is celebrated. I want to celebrate like the one time I can mention this reference because I've started to get into Bollywood and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to make reference to Gilly, the 2004 Indian Tamil. Ah, oh, it's a sensation. It's incredible. I understand that I absolutely am here for VJ hype. Now this Gilly is not to be confused for the 2009 Kannada film of the same name. But I am talking about the Tamil film that was the remake of the 2003 Telugu film Okadu. Although both Gilly and Paya are set in Tamil Nadu, Gilly showcases how a inspiring Kabaddi player will fall in love and although it might be frowned upon by taking her into his bedroom and then getting his friends to get documents and passports to get her to America where they can fall in love. Let's not talk about the practicalities of this. It is a story where love is to blossom and where love is to be celebrated. It has the absolutely Appity Poor Day, which is an absolute grand song. Nothing goes as hard as Appity Poor Day. I'm gonna link it down below. I mean, VJ had no right going that hard on the song. It's the only time I'm ever gonna be able to reference Gillian. I just need people to like go and watch that film. Oh, it's great. But Pia highlights the reality of the situation. Situation is that it doesn't really matter who you fall in love with. It doesn't matter if it's true love or not. The person has to be the right person. Kubaresan and his family who work in the soda industry are not to know that Saroja comes from a different caste. So Kubaresan says, well, if we just don't tell anyone, like, how are they meant to know? And here we find that the family make the distinction that she cannot be the same caste. Not because anyone knows what caste she's in because of the colour of her skin. It is enough for them to rightly know that she is of the wrong caste. And throughout Pyre, the family will never know what caste Saroja is to be a part of. And what I think the beauty of Pyre is, although in its repetitiveness, in regards to the events that seem to cycle around as more of Kubaresan's family dictate that they are not to be in love, they are not to be betrothed, that this is a dishonour, this is unloyal, and ultimately this is ill-fated. Murugan shows explicitly how people can be complicit. Kubaresan's family, which I should state, live on the countryside of Tamil Nadu, are staunch. This is a tradition, this is the way caste work. But not all of Tamil Nadu is like this. In fact, the closer we get to the city, the closer we get to Chennai, we see that these traditions are slowly starting to fade away. They still have a stronghold, they still have a vice on Tamil Nadu, but there is more acceptance. There they find more acceptance. However, Kumaresan is still drawn to tradition. Himself and his wife decide to go to a coming of age ceremony. Decided not to go with family but to go to the temple directly. After the ceremony, Saroja is going to advise of some news. Advising that they should leave the village once and for all. But Kumaresan feels as though Saroja should stay exactly where she is. And from this moment I have come up with my own Tamil proverb which I hope some of you might enjoy. If your husband's family want to say 
Bye bye, do not go to the bushes and do a pang sigh. And here within the final page we have the natural conclusion akin to Ariaster's Midsummer. Let's be honest, it's got nothing on Mothapandi's death in Gilly, because that death is electrifying. If you know, you know. Pyre is singed simplicity, and I would give it a 7 out of 10. Barugan story might be repetitive, it might be cyclical in some cases, however, this shows that this is a day-to-day -day occurrence. There is nothing grand being exposed to. It is showcasing how honour killings of intercaste marriages and the difficulty of navigating around caste and how caste still today has implications within modern day India. 